I'm in England and I'm driving a very British car. It's a Mini. Mini made by the Germans. But this could possibly be the worst specification for a Mini that you could buy. Come on, somebody bloody let me out. Right, here we go. Let's start with the number of doors. Five. Five door Mini just looks the it just looks odd. It doesn't look good. A three-door Mini looks quite cute. It's small, it's cute, it's supposed to be a Mini. A five-door Mini doesn't make sense. A five-door Mini it should be called a Maxi. Then there's the colour. This is some sort of white gloss silver stuff. And then we come to the engine. It's a diesel. It's a 1.5 litre three-cylinder diesel in a Mini. It's supposed to be a fun car. It's just wrong. And then there's the gearbox. It's an automatic. Where's the fun in that? I want to change my own gears. Mind you, you do get a sport mode. You put it in sport mode. Oh, throttle response is a little bit better. It says maximum go-kart feel on the screen now. Hmm, doesn't sound like it. You do have an eco green mode as well. <laughs> I don't know why they bother with that. What a load of nonsense. So is this possibly the worst mini? Because the whole five door thing, the whole five door thing, not only does it look odd, it's completely pointless. Because getting in and out of just the front is really awkward. This pillar here is just in the way when you're trying to get out of the car. This is awful. And that's just if you sat in the front. I tried to get in the back earlier with the seat in my most comfortable position. Tried to get in the back. I actually got my foot stuck. I couldn't move. I thought I was going to have to call an ambulance. Now my foot. Now my foot. I can't move my foot. Bloody foot stuck. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's the way to get in. I was literally stuck, literally, literally stuck. And that was just trying to get in, trying to get out was another challenge. So what's the point of five door when it's not really a very good five door? But all of those points become completely irrelevant when you get on the right road. <laughs> this car is so much fun. Now, I've never actually driven a new Mini before and and I know it's always been rated very highly people always say oh it handles really great it has a little goat like a little go-kart they're not bloody wrong it really is so much fun it looks like a big turd it's got an awful gearbox it sounds like a bag of nails but it doesn't matter because 
everything else is absolutely brilliant. This steering is incredible. It's just perfect. The seating position is perfect. The weighting of the brakes is perfect. Everything is just brilliant. So you could drive around in this thing that looks weird, odd, just wrong. But when you get on a back road like I'm on now, you really don't care. You don't even care, you're not changing your own gear. It's brilliant. I, I've had this car for like two days and it's been so much fun. It's just, you can really, really throw it around. It just sticks. It feels brilliant. It's so planted everywhere you go. All these back roads, it just sticks to the road. Okay, it's a little bit firm, but who cares? This is brilliant. So I find myself just backing off on all these roads, give myself a bit of space from the car in front so that I can just have a bit of a play around with this car because I haven't had this much fun in ages. The thing that amazed me most about this car when I first picked it up was that, you know, sometimes when you pick up a car, it's, you take a little bit time just to get used to it, just to go, oh, where is everything? And it feels a little bit, oh yeah, get used to the steering and stuff. As soon as I got into this car, just moving around the car park, I thought, you know what, it feels, it feels just right. Everything feels just right. This seating position, it couldn't be more right. Ford, please take note. This is a seating position for a sporty car. I'm, it literally is. My legs are perfectly comfortable. My arms are just the right distance from the steering wheel. Everything is supported nicely. How good is that? And these brakes, these brakes. <laughs> so good. You would think this was a sports car. Mr. Cooper should be very happy with what Mini and BMW have been doing with his name. If we come back to this engine, this engine, you know, I hate diesels and I hate them with a passion. I really do. They, they only belong in tractors. They should not be on normal road cars. But I mean, this thing, I mean, has hardly used any fuel at all. Nothing. I mean, it's removed one little bit. It's also only a tiny engine, but, and I think it says 0 to 60 should be about 9.6 seconds. But it feels a lot quicker. When you're sort of taking off, you get a little bit, there's a bit of a pause and then a bit of a shove. And you think, it's quite a bit of power there, but it's not, it's like 100, I think 115 BHP or something. It's not huge. The only problem is the noise, I suppose. It doesn't make the right noise. It doesn't make the right noise for a fun, sporty car. But there is a way around that. <laughs> I was going to put the radio on. Bloody thing, <laughs> someone talking. That didn't work. Oh, I can't get any bloody music. <laughs> I can't get any music on the radio for my line. Oh, come on. I don't want travel updates. Come on. Oh, no, not the news. Signs of a shift in America. He said he had no doubt that... He said there was no doubt that Syria's president, Bashar al Black. <sighs> Still can't find any music. Come on. <laughs> John Platt. Somebody play a song. Traffic police in... Ah, music. Right, let's go. I seem to have lost the ability to reverse without parking sensors. Oh, bloody hell, it really does take off. So what I was trying to say about the engine noise is that there is a solution. And the solution is to turn up the radio. Okay, let's sum this car up, shall we? I really don't like the look of it at all. Really, really don't like the look of it. 
an automatic gearbox. Well, I know it's fine for some people, but it's definitely not for me. The engine, actually the engine is, <laughs> I can't really complain about the engine. It's actually very good. It's very smooth. It's not overly noisy. It sort of revs all the way up to its, its boring sort of 5,000 RPM limit. Space-wise in here, it's a bit rubbish. When I'm in my perfect driving position here, if anybody wants to sit behind me, they have to remove their legs. And that's far from ideal. I don't like the fact that they've put these buttons on the steering wheel so close to the actual rim. So when you're holding the rim, your hands are covering those buttons and sometimes they accidentally press the buttons, which is a bit odd, especially when you're actually manoeuvring as well. But you can forgive this car a lot of the things that make it wrong because the bit that it does right, it just does it so incredibly well. And I love it. So there you go, lots of things I don't like but it drives so well, and it's huge, huge fun. Mind you, this is a 20,000 pound car. Right, well, I'm gonna go and just enjoy this car that little bit more, because the roads aren't too busy. It's a really, really lovely morning here in England, and I need to make the most of this car. Catch you soon.